it's hot, it's dark, and it's addictive. And this is one of the places I would come to get my morning fix. But not today. Can I have a peppermint tea, please? There are 25 million small producers around the world that depend upon coffee for a living. The top three coffee exporting countries are Brazil, Vietnam, and Colombia. Here we are, my nasty cup of green stuff. Oh, enough of that. Us Brits absolutely love our coffee. I'm not alone. Every day we consume 95 million cups of the stuff. And every year we spend more than 2,000 pounds each in coffee shops. Now I'm not sure I'm spending quite 2,000 pounds on coffee, but I am drinking a lot of it and it's why it's got to 12 o'clock midday and I am really struggling without it and I've got the beginnings of a headache. I'm on my way now to one of London's oldest coffee shops to find out why we love it so much. Coffee's become fashionable. It hasn't been fashionable for Bar Italia because we are a cafe. However, um, in the last few years, and especially in Soho where the sex shops were closing and cafes were opening, coffee's become a, 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 a massive culture and people are becoming a lot more discerning and understanding a little bit more about coffee. Well, I'm back in the office. I've taken myself out into a meeting room for a second because I've just Googled symptoms of caffeine withdrawal and headache, difficulty concentrating and slight fatigue. I've got all of those symptoms. I've also started hanging around my local coffee shop, staring at other people drinking coffee. It's five o'clock. I've just taken two aspirin. It's not going well. I'm home. It's pretty late. I'm very tired. I've still got a headache and I'm on my fourth aspirin and my eye is twitching. But I've made it. A full day without coffee. What's become clear to me is that coffee has been propelling me and the modern economy along really rather nicely. And given that it's worth £10 billion to the UK economy alone, it might not just be me that grinds to a halt without it.